Hi peeps and welcome back to CrackTube. There just came amazingly good news. The new champion Orn has been shown and leaked for the first time. So let's look together at Orn the fire beneath the mountains. Oh my god, As he Orn. looks awesome. Name's Orn. No further pleasantries needed. This is a waste of my time. Incoming! Whoa! Job complete. Just leave everything to me. As you what? <laughs> My God! You like that? I do. Stop it! I'm used to this level of disappointment. I now like oh you less. my god. I did not think that was possible. <laughs> I did I like you less than before. I didn't thought that was possible. God damn it, peeps. This champion is really I really want this to be my new main. He looks awesome. I love the feeling and oh my god, his abilities. <gasps> it's really insane. But let's go to the League of Legends website and look at all his abilities and his passive together. So here we are on the official League of Legends website where the information of Orn, the fire below the mountains, is revealed. First of all, looks, if I look at the splash arts, 10 out of 10, we'll do it again. Jesus, I love the champions of failure. And this just it's it's the tip of the iceberg It's so cool like the the leaks that we got from like the horn There it is his horns my god And they were tell telling us about fire and ice and the thing that I was like hmm Someone from Feliord and maybe a blacksmith and here we are the ram blacksmith demigod Orn so the information that we got for now is Orn, the fire below the mountain. More than most demigods, Orn values his privacy, dwelling in solitude beneath an ancient volcano. He stocks bubbling cauldrons of molten stone to forge items of unsurpassed quality. Yet from those depths, Orn sends trouble. Divine beings are once again meddling in mortal affairs. During the upcoming wars, the Feliord and the world will need a good blacksmith. What does this mean? This guy is getting pissed because Lysandra is meddling in the life of mortals again. Because she's a demigod, god-like creature who is trying to take over the world again. And he's like, whoa, whoa, we are gods. We stay cool, let humans do that. Well, mortals do their affairs, we do not meddle. And it's like, if you are going to be part of this, I'm going to help them out. So let's have a look at his abilities. Let's start with his passive called Living Forge and Master Craftsman. This one is getting really interesting. So Living Forge, Orn can spend gold to forge items for himself and Anytime he's out of combat. For convenience, suggested items appear in a special one screen menu. Own can also open the shop manually to build any item. This guy doesn't need to recall to buy items. Guys, I don't know what his uh, stats are going to be but Jesus think about it if you build him with life regen that he got a lot of sustaining lane this guy can keep farming can keep harassing the lane without ever having to leave this is going to be so strong but there is even more master craftsman Orn and his teammates have access to a special upgrades of select items in the shop each player is limited to one of those these upgrades. I do not know what the those items are going to be, but it sounds amazing. And the guy is a freaking demigod blacksmith, so you can be sure that those items are going to be tough notch and really strong. So if you got this guy in your team, you're able to go 
build your items, but upgrade one of them. Whoa! I hope that we can play this guy's support because that would be amazing. And I'm going to show you why. Let's start with his Q. Volcanic Rapture. Let's first look what it does. Okay. Own slams the ground, sending out a fissure that deals physical damage and slows enemies. After a small delay, a magma pillar forms at the target location, functionally like a tiny wall for a few seconds. So actually, what is this? It's Trundle's pillar with a delay. So the guy is gonna be able to put a pillar just like Trumbull. So for example, if you play in bot lane and someone is trying to walk between the wall and the turret, he can place a pillar that they can't go that way. So that's already amazing. And I think it doesn't show it on the video and I'm not able to go on the PvE yet. So yeah, sorry peeps, I really would like to show you more on PvE server but I got no PV account and Riot doesn't give it to me so meh <laughs> but well what I think that this mean is that this guy is gonna be able to do really nice stuff and maybe even knock champions up if the pillar is coming up on the moment that they are yeah that it's coming up and that would be amazing think about it Yasuo another another ability for a knock up but oh well, let's go to his W. Let's first read. W, Below's Breed. Own becomes unstoppable. Holy shit. So okay, it starts like Ulti of Trindamir. Uh, sorry, Ulti of Olaf. Right? Of Olaf. Yeah, Olaf is unstoppable, you can't card control him. Shields himself, so you get a shield. Embellish out flames. These flames deal a portion of the enemy's current health as magic damage. What? So it's AP. And it's true damage. Holy fuck. Enemies struck by the final goat of flame become brittle. Orn's basic attack knock back brittle's target. What the hell? And it's not even over. When brittle enemies suffer a portion of their maximum health as bonus damage when struck by immobilizing effects. Immobilizing effects also last longer when used on brittle and... What the fuck? So any crouch control is going to t be longer if they got the brittle effect on them. So a Morgana stun isn't going to last for like 4 years, it's going to last for 6 years now. Oh my god, what is this going to do? This guy is going to change the game for sure. Okay, so we got an Olaf ulti just as our W. <laughs> he can knock back champions. And if he use the pa if the passive is on them, all card controls on that target are going to last longer. So that's what we saw in the video when Leona used her ulti to stun people. The stun is going to take longer than normal. That's freaking strong. Let's see what it looks like. Oh my god, it looks cool as well. Let's look at that again. So that's... Oh... So that was like the icon when they are brittled. Uh, this little thingy right here. And then he auto attacks them and he knocks them back. What the hell. I'm speechless. This is going to be amazingly <laughs> strong. Next ability, Searching Charge. Saving Charge. Orn Charge, dealing damage to enemies he passed through. If Orns collide with terrain while charging, the impact creates a shockwave that deals damage and knock up enemies. This ability destroys players created terrain. 
What? Okay, so we already have the Olaf ulti, and now we get the Malphite ulti. It's not exactly the same Malphite ult that he can use whenever he wants and go through walls. But if he knocks his E against the wall and hit the champion, it's a Malphite ult. Nothing else to say about that. Let, let's look what it is, what it does. Yep, yeah. it's a freaking Malphite ult. Nothing else to say. Oh my god. That's unbelievable. But wait, if I read this la right, this ability destroys players created terrain. Are we talking about Anivia walls? Talia walls? Trundle? Uh, thingy? Maybe even Aziz wall are all going to be destroyed when he hits them. That's really, really strong. This guy is going to be such a good counter against so many champions for f team fights. Oh my god, I'm so excited. It's really unbelievable. But oh my god, we're still not there yet. He already got two ultis of Olaf and Malphite. But he even got his own ulti. His R ability. Call of the Forge God. Own summons a massive fire element at a target location. It then travels toward him with increasing speed. Enemies run over by the elemental take magic damage and become brittled. Oh my god, they become brittled. Own can re cast this ability to charge forward. If he strikes the elemental with a charge, he'll re redirect it. The redirected element will then knock up all struck enemies, dealing the same damage as before and applying the brittle effect. What the fuck? So guys, it's not exactly the same. But it's a bit like Draven's ultimate that he throws his axes and they come back. But instead of that he throws them and he comes back, it's more like they start somewhere and it comes to him and he can push it back and it all brings his passive again. But I'm going to show you what it looks like. It's really awesome. What the hell? What the actual fuck? It's okay, let's have a look. So, he's getting brittled. And he knocks them up when they got hit again. But don't forget that this is going to proc his passive. Wait, it's not, it's not really his passive, it's brittle effect on champions far, far away from him. So if you got, for example, a Morgana hiding somewhere and you use your ultimate and then she use her Q. <laughs> Jesus, this is going to be amazing. So many combinations that you can use. This guy, really, I really want to main him. I'm all okay. I'm calling it. I'm already an own main. Look how cool he is. Mm, I love his looks. I love his mechanics. I really hope that I'm going to be good with him because damn. And for those who play Overwatch, we all know what this makes us think of. It's freaking Turbion. <laughs> like the dwarf guy. Who is also a blacksmith creating turrets, so yeah. Yeah. This wow. And this is what it's going to look like in game. I'm going to try make it bigger. Um pam, 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 sorry. Like this. Oh, he looks so cool. He really looks amazing. Pam. But there is even more. There's 
Once a human kneels, they rarely stand again. <laughs> Some cocky motherfucker, isn't he? But there is even his skin that has been revealed. Look at that. He's like Odin. I think all have got the same skin. Of the same generation. Like, this is like the Thunder God Orn. And here is his horn that has been revealed before. Damn. This looks amazing. I'm so hyped. Tips and tricks. Own lane, lane staying power is second to none thanks to his ability to forge new items without returning to base. You'll want to, to study up an early game, itemization option so you can quickly craft the right gear to counter your lane opponent. Since each of Orn's allies can build one of his unique items upgrades, Orn teammates eff effectively have a higher gold cap than their opponents. Someone should tell Nasus there is a new late game god in town. <laughs> Other gems you create terrain, Trundle, Azir, synergy extremely well with Orn, since he can Sirin charge into a champ made structures to knock up enemies. Likewise, allies like Poppy and Vane can pin opponent to Volcanic Rapture's pillar. Wow. <gasps> I just realized! He can create his own terrain. So the combo is going to be you use your Q to create the pillar and then you charge in and you got the knock up. Holy shit. He can do a Malphite ult on level 2 without even being close to a wall. Whoa. <laughs> I'm definitely going to try to play this guy's support. I can see so many play make opportunities. This guy bot lane with Vayne. Oh, yes, we're gonna make it happen. We're gonna make it happen. Playing as Orn. Let's look at the video. So he's being playing top lane. The crouch control. Oh, uh, Anivia wall. Come on. Yes. Oh. The ram can also use the knock up like that. What? <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, let's le read what it said. Playing as Orn. Orn prefers to do things himself. He dislikes bartering with the Rift merchandise. So he forged his own gear. If he can't pin his enemies to terrain with a serene charge, he bring the terrain to them with a volcanic rapture. Orn is a leader on the battlefield. He initiates fights on his terms with call of the forge god, then charging, bellowing and tearing apart his foes with titanic force. Wow! <laughs> I'm so freaking hyped peeps this guy look really look at him this is going to be my new screensaver <laughs> this champ is the shit I, I did like Kane but Kane was nothing for me I'm really bad at assassins and yeah I did like to play him but this guy that is what I like the balls deep go and destroy knock them face palm but in champions Yes! <laughs> so peeps, I definitely would like to know what you guys think of Orn and if you are going to try him out or if you're like, nah, nothing for me. So definitely let me know. And yeah, I want to thank all of you for watching my video and I hope to see you next time. And don't forget, I'm Crash and I'm out. Bye bye. Whoop.